hello hello everyone how are you hope all is well with you and your family and i do hope you have a great week ahead so guys have you heard there is a six man a part of the hitman squad that took out mp philip paulwell's daughter 10 month old saraya paulwell and her 27 year old mother tashena patterson yes there's a six man they held him last week on Lady Musgrave Road in Kingston, St. Andrew. However, this suspect held is said to be a very prime suspect in the case and very important to the investigators. He was put through a series of interrogation, which we later heard he was hospitalized. It is not clear the nature of his illness but it's alleged while he was facing questions from detective in the corporate area that's when he fell ill he is also set to go on an identification parade this week and charges are to follow after all i know is i hope he gets well soon and don't pass away because we definitely want to hear what he has to say and furthermore, we want all the culprits involved in this case to be rounded up. And we also want to know, as a prime suspect, what new information he is coming with. Because we as the public know, there is a dance and jig around the fig tree as far as this case is concerned. And it has not quite come together to make any sense so we really want this suspect well and alive and speaking for now his identity is being withheld but somehow we are curious if his capture had to do with the capture of the fifth suspect Bajan Black who was in court last week because Bijan was held from last year 2023 December but his information and, and identity was kept secret I guess while they were doing their investigations because his identity was revealed after he went to court last week so we think that his arrest is what led to the sixth arrest I'm telling you this incident has rocked Jamaica and people in the diaspora to the core leave you shaking in your boots and is one of the most heinous crime to hit us in 2023 and has been carried over into 2024 as we are still awaiting closure and it's alleged there is still more moving parts to this crime as they are more on the run still the question is do people really still believe that all this was a simple action of a jealous woman worried about her competition her man's baby mother and her baby so much so that this woman was comfortable as MP Philip Paulwell's girlfriend Leoda Bradshaw who is a chef in the Navy just got up and leave her job fly to Jamaica with her own chair she has for the same man on the 6th of September in full mode by the 9th of September Saraya Paulwell Philip Paulwell's daughter and her mother, Tashena Pattison, were kidnapped, murdered, then burnt out in Warwicka Hill, East Kingston. Within the space of a week of Leoda Bradshaw arriving in Jamaica. Is it a coincidence or what that East Kingston is run by her man, MP Philip Paulwell? there is just so much more to this case because together all these men together over 
a deposit of only $100,000 out of $500,000. Still don't quite sit well. There got to be a bigger reason and more benefits to these men. There got to be something more beneficial than just that measly money that a cook in the Navy can give them. Tom drunk but Tom no fool because during that time there was allegations of hacking into people accounts, extortion, information, going left, right and center of people private business and then all of a sudden with the death of the mother and the daughter it all ended it's confusing but off one may ask was that all planned was that real was it all suspected to have anything to do with tashena patissa there's still a lot of questions here because it would seem just maybe people were being in panic mode of possibly more disclosure of all sorts and somewhere along the line the mother and daughter who allegedly had worked with or among many politicians became the target for some unknown reason it's a lot more than just trying to get the DNA of the child because there was a moment before the the heinousness of the crime took over where there was a question of who was the child's father whether it was Peter Bunting or Philip Paulwell so there is still so much more that is not being said and why though leaving from Stony Hill with mother and child and then taking them all the way to East Kingston why were they comfortable with doing their act in East Kingston because to really and truly penetrate East Kingston you have to get permission or you got to be a general to get into that community there is just still a whole lot of questionable moves in this case and yes it would have gone down much easier just get a hitman bap mother and daughter taken out but they needed something more whether it is information or whatever else so the kidnapping was very important to the whole takeout and of course another burning question is where in stony hill did all these men gather as the investigation did say Leoda Bradshaw kidnapped mother and child and took them to near where she was staying in Stony Hill and given to men there waiting on them. We all know where she was staying but the burning question has always been where is near where she was staying? Were they waiting in the sun hut or in bushes or in the car park? And some corner because I know Stony in well and they don't really have much of no corners. Where really is near where she was staying? And the fact that the baby was playing with the men simply mean she was somewhere reasonably comfortable for that moment. And another thing, as much as most of our Jamaican men are not what they used to be, they can't be that hungry and desperate as many of them had jobs so for all of them lot to be so desperate to share one hundred thousand dollar don't cut it in at all it just not cut it something still off this however guys is a case that we need to keep our eyes on don't let it wander off and get distracted with all the other crimes that going on because this we need to see this through to the end because it is really interesting to see where this case will really and truly take us 
As for now, we want information on the sixth suspect and what he brings to the investigation and his identity. An identification parade for him is this week. And I think after that he will go to the courts and we will hear the charges that is laid against him. And by then, hopefully, we will know how much of an importance he is to this case. So for now, guys, keep listening and keep your ears keen because as soon as more information becomes available, I will definitely update you guys because this case, I really just got to see it through to the end for many reasons. Anyway, guys, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my platform, please. Love you all. Bye for now.